last decade, we've seen the relationship between Israel and Jordan deteriorating more and more. And at some points, Jordan contained that. At some points, it didn't. But after what happened last night, it was expected that there will be a response. Crown Prince Hussein, on his way to Al-Aqsa Mosque, is being stopped at the border cross between Jordan and Israel. And because of a dispute about the numbers of security men he's allowed to carry with him, he's turned around and he goes back to Amman. To understand why is this so sensitive to the Jordanians, we have to understand that officially for the Jordanians, the guardian of the Al-Aqsa Mosque is the king of Jordan. It's the Jordanian Waqf that's, that's the sovereign there. They're responsible for it. It's part of the title of the Jordanian king. Prince Hussein, from his perspective, is being stopped on the way to visit family property, which is one of the most important properties in the Arab and Muslim world. He's not allowed to visit one of the most sensitive points. And the peace agreement between Israel and Jordan dedicates a lot of pages just to the problem of Jerusalem and what is exactly the authority of Jordan there. Not being allowed to enter Israel and approach the Al-Aqsa Mosque is a slap on the face to the Hashemite uh, family, to the king, Who and to the crown decision? prince. Did this get land on Netanyahu's desk yesterday, as from what we can tell, that he said turn the prince back? It's hard to believe it reached the prime minister's desk, um, but if it did, it Should was have. not a very uh, calculated decision. This is something that Israel and Jordan are going to take some time to overcome. If they do, we know that, uh, again, during the last few years, we didn't see too many efforts invested in the diplomatic relationship between Israel and Jordan. And it's hard to see a way that Netanyahu now goes uh, forward with a gesture that will make the Jordanians forgive this very, very big insult. And especially now coming out and directly pointing the finger at the Jordanians for canceling this diplomatic event That today. is definitely not, uh, not doing any good for uh, retrieving the good relations with the Jordanians. Eventually, Netanyahu will have to come around and try to get the Jordanians to sit at the table and overcome this. This was a very uh, bad uh, um, um, uh, dispute between Israel and Jordan. This hurt the respect of the Jordanians, and they won't forget this very easily.